Hey guys, it's me again today. Um, and uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, a Samsung uh, TV that came in for repair. So basically, the issue with this TV is uh, when you try to plug it in and power it on, um, it just constantly reboots and reboots and reboots. And there's nothing that basically shows up on the picture. So it's just nothing but rebooting. Um, I'm going to give you guys all a, a uh, how can you say it, uh, a heads up as to what the problem is with this TV. And you may or may not be surprised when you find out what the issue is. Um, but basically, I know what the problem is because actually before even filming this video, I looked at this TV and I did some of my own diagnosing. Um, so basically, we're going to dive into it and I'm going to tell you guys why I know where the problem is. So we're going to start with the power supply, then we're going to make our way to the main board. And then finally, the last thing that we can test is the strip that's right here. These are the boards that tie to the panel of the TV. So we're going to start by testing each one and you're going to see exactly what's going on. Okay, so we're going to start with the power supply. And as you may notice, the bike lights are lit up around the TV. So that should also give you already a very strong indication that the backlights are actually not part of the problem. And that's one thing I forgot to mention is also backlights. How do I know it's not a problem with the backlights? We can isolate it by using the power supply of the television to test the backlights. So with newer Samsung TVs, this is what you guys want. To, this is what you want to do if you want to make sure your power supply is not at, at fault. Take the cable that goes to the main board. There's one cable that goes to the main board, no matter what model. Just go ahead and plug, unplug that cable, like so. And if your backlight starts to come on like this and stays on, then the chances are your power supply are is not the problem. Isn't the problem. So, and I've proved to you even with my multimeter that this is working like it should. If I check for my on voltage, which should be close to 13 volts. There you go, 12.97. And because the power supply is turned on, it's working because the backlight is on. And if you look at the silk screen, standby 7.5. And our on voltage is close to 13 volts. And I would say that's pretty darn close. So the issue is not gonna be with the power supply. It's gonna be with something else. So we're gonna go to the main board and we're gonna take a look at the main board and see what's going on with the main board. Okay, so now we're at the main board and we just said that the power supply is not the problem. So we know that we can't even, we don't even have to start taking this apart and probing and stuff. We know that this is not the problem as you saw. So we're going to leave that to the side and we're going to go to the main board. Now, I cannot do it now because if I do it, the problem will, how can you say it, uh, won't change. But you know what, actually I can do it. So to know if the main board is at fault, you want to disconnect. If you have two, because some of them have two, this one has one. So if you have two cables, two ribbon cables, this is for the timing controller because the timing controller on the newer Samsung TVs is integrated with the motherboard or the main board, I should say, sorry. So it's all integrated on one. In the older sets, the TCON board was separated. So there was an extra PCB somewhere in the middle or whatever. And um, and uh, what's it called? Uh, you would have to, you know, mess around with that as well. But everything now is on all one, it's all on one board. So to test if the main board is at fault, just simply disconnect the ribbon cables that go to the panel, the driver boards, as they call them, if I'm not mistaken, like that. So there's just a tab here. You just flip it up like that. And then you pull out the cable on this other ribbon here that you can just, uh, there's like a little ribbon here that you can just use to pull it. Anyways, you pull it out like that. And watch if, if this happens to your TV, then you're gonna know that the main board's not the problem. So you're just gonna go ahead, apply power. Like it's come on, and I want you to hear very closely what the speaker is gonna do.
Oh, and I'm, I'm so stupid because I completely forgot to... Let's restart that because I forgot to plug back the mainboard in. So, again, just disconnect that ribbon cable or those two ribbon cables if you have two. And take a listen to the speaker. And if you hear the same thing, that means your mainboard is okay. I don't know if you heard that, but there was a faint sound, like a chime, and basically that means the main board is working like it should. So, and if you take a peek under, actually, because the T-Con cable is disconnected, you should be able to see your backlight. There should be nothing on the screen, but just the backlight, so it's hard to tell on the phone, but anyways, if you look very closely at it, there should be nothing but the backlight. So, now what does that mean? That means the problem is not on the power supply, nor with the backlights, nor with the main board. That means the issue has to be on one of these strips. Because there's, in this set, there's two strips. There's this side, the left side, and there's the right side. So now we have to go to the next step, and to we have to try and see which strip is the faulty one. Okay, so as we said, the main board is okay, the power supply is okay, the backlights are okay. That means the issue is either on the left-hand side or the right-hand side driver board. And we, on this particular set, the way we test to see if it's the left or the right one, um, you have to basically disconnect this side here. You don't, don't bother disconnecting here. I will just disconnect it from here. Disconnect the ribbon cable from here. Mind you, do it. I would do it if the TV was powered off if I were you. So you just pull the plug, unplug the TV, power it off, pull the ribbon cable on this side, and leave the cable disconnected here. So basically, test one driver board at a time. So regardless of how the orientation is, because I know some other models are a bit different than this. This is a bit simpler. The ones with the two cables. Basically, there's one ribbon cable that goes here and it does the whole entire left hand side And then there's another ribbon cable that does just the right hand side So if you have a TV like that if you have a Samsung like that uh, Just pull the right hand side off first or pull the left hand side off first to see if the problem goes away and your TV boots up So if the TV boots up with the cable disconnected with one of the two ribbon cables disconnected or in this case if I have this disconnected that means the issue is going to be on this driver board right here. And there's something either with the panel or with one of these components that's shorting uh, a circuit or a signal or whatever. And it's causing the TV just basically to shut down all the time. Okay, so, and I can tell you one thing for certain, at least with my experience so far. I have, believe it or not, three in total like this. So I have this TV and I have two other ones similar but bigger sized and 90 percent of the time or at least on the ones i've seen so far none of the components on this strip goes bad i tested every single resistor uh, capacitor to ground to make sure there was no short there was no shorts whatsoever i even went as far as to swapping one of these ic's same problem so it's nothing with the components on this strip it has to do with the panel, unfortunately. So something with the panel is causing one or more lines on these ribbon cables here to go become shorted. And that's what's causing the TV to shut down. So how can we isolate which one is, you know, which line, which circuit is shorting it? More than likely, if you peep over here, you're going to notice all these little tiny gold pads of these little black squares. Notice how it says CK1, CK2, CK3, all the way up to CK8. These are clock signals. More than likely, one of those clock signals is shorted or open or bad or whatever. So the only way to find out which one is bad, because guaranteed one of those is causing the set to shut down. We have to basically tape off... And you can probably already see it. I have it done here. 
we have to tape off the section of the ribbon cable that has those eight clock lines. And what's going to happen is the TV will power up, but you're going to see that the picture is not the best quality. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean, because I did basically just that. Now the cable, all the clock signals are disconnected. And we're going to see a very poor picture on the screen. So what I'm going to do is we're going to basically take this TV. I'm going to put it on the side. I'm going to flip it up and you're going to see how the picture looks like, because it's unfortunate the customer did not support, uh, the, did not provide me with the stand <clears throat> to put the TV down. So I'm going to lift it up, put it on the wall. We're going to power it up and you're going to see what happens when you block all the clock lines on the defective driver board. So we know the problem again is here. And we know the problem is one of these clock signals is going bad and it's causing the TV to, sh you know, to shut off. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to take this TV right now, put it on the wall, and you're going to see what happens when you block all the clock signals. Okay, now look at this. So this is what you're going to see if you block all the clock signals on the faulty driver board. The picture's going to come on, but you're going to see this. This is the side that doesn't have the faulty driver board so this side of the panel is okay notice on the bottom though we have a bit of a washed up picture here and that's because we have all lines blocked but i don't think there's going to be more than one line shorting in the panel because remind you i'm going to remind you this is something internally of the pa this is happening inside the actual panel like the screen itself something is shorting causing the TV to, sh to shut down basically. So now we, what we have to do is we've got to put this back on the table and we got to see one by one if the problem goes away when we short the, uh, when we remove uh, some of the, the blocks that we put on the connector. And I'm going to show you how actually I block my connector and you're going to see if you, you can probably do the same thing without too much difficulty. Um, but keep in mind, it's very small. So you're going to see that in a second. Just to show you, I'm going to power the TV down. So there you go, TV's going to turn off and the red standby light comes on. Notice how it's not blinking. So normally when the TV like this has this issue where it kind of boot cycles, you're going to see that LED flash twice every now and then. So it's staying solid, which is a good sign. So it's, and it's still solid. I'm going to go ahead, power it up. Standby light comes off. There we go, smart TV. Samsung and the TV basically is on so this is working like it's supposed to So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this back on the table and we're gonna figure out which line is Causing the issue with the, the screen. We're gonna find which one is We're gonna find out which line is shorting the circuit and shutting down the TV So give me a couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead put this TV back on the table and we're gonna figure out that just now Okay, so what you got to do in order to block the uh, clock signals from being connected with the rest of the TV, you need something called Kapton tape, which is usually my preferred choice because it's a slim, very thin, and also it uh, non-conductive tape. And basically with the Kapton tape, as you will see here in a second, you probably can see right there. You put it right over the cable and you just block the pins that are shorting or that are possible like suspected to be faulty so i think with this set from what i've seen i think it's going to be the last pin here that's blocked the issue i think but we're gonna basically do the testing and i'm not gonna film it just to speed up time um I'm, i think the last pin i have blocked is the issue so i'm gonna leave that blocked <laughs> And we're going to see what happens when I put it all back together and try to power up the TV. So basically just take, in this case, um, my TV, again, it has one main ribbon cable. But if yours has two, you're going to have, um, instead of one long driver board, you're going to have maybe two smaller ones. But it's still for the right-hand side. So, And that's for the left-hand side. Yeah, so basically, like I said, left cable left big ribbon cable is for the left hand side other one if you have it is for the right hand side and if you have the second one you're gonna have basically for the right hand side you're gonna have two smaller driver boards instead of one big driver board and you're gonna have a cable similar to this connecting them 
basically just go ahead take it out like i did it here and block the clock signals off and test the tv and you're gonna see that it should turn on when you block all of them and then when you go one by one unblocking them you will see that uh basically one of them or maybe two or one or more if you're really unlucky is causing the set to uh not turn on so that's what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna disconnect um one by one now i'm gonna remove the tape one by one put it back in and i'm gonna see if the problem persists so let's just uh do that quickly and i'll be back with you guys with an update okay so i narrowed it down i believe i think i got this working now this is very difficult to do, so you need to find a technique. I mean, I, I wish I can tell you if there's a technique, but really this is a lot of trial and error and having really steady hands because those pins are very, very, very tiny and you have to block just one of them. So you gotta have very, very good hands in order to do that. But that being said, now that this is back in, I believe I found the issue so what i'm gonna do is um again like i said before you have to go one by one unblock 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 until you find the problematic one what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put this back up on the wall and you're gonna see if we indeed solve the uh the problem and uh yeah let's uh let's do that right now actually and uh, we'll see how the picture looks like now with the one line block okay so the moment of truth now that the tv is up on the wall like that i have it plugged into the wall I'm gonna go ahead and power it up. Well, why didn't you, would, wouldn't you look at that? That big blob rash is gone. The TV is fixed. We have a working TV. So this is saying it's something in Spanish because I believe my customer is Spanish. So this is all in Spanish. But if I go, if I exit, let me see what button is at home. Here we go. Notice, I do notice one thing, and that's because the line is blocked. You see these lines here on the bottom? They're very, very, very small. It goes all the way down to the other side. That, unfortunately, we cannot do much, nothing about that. That's going to be... It's going to be like that, so... Uh, I'm going to have to tell the customer, but again, it's either you have that line or you don't have a TV at all. So it's working again uh this panel i don't know what's up with samsung's because i have two other tvs now that's gonna have the same problem i'm gonna have to and i'm gonna have to do the same debugging as i did on this tv and i'm gonna have to find out which clock signal on the faulty driver board is preventing the tv from turning on so i'm gonna tell my other customers that i pretty much solved the issue uh and uh yeah we're gonna see what we can do about this if i press again the home button i mean look it's working it's it's working phenomenally there's no more black spot on the side there it's gone the tv is fixed so i'm gonna put this back together and i'm gonna let the customer know that this tv has been repaired so once again just as a breakdown for you guys um we tested the power supply the power supply is okay the backlights are not the problem they are okay we tested the main board, the main board is okay. That means the issues has to be between the driver board and the panel itself, one or those two. So basically what it came down to was the driver board that's on this side, so like on this half of the TV, there was an issue there. And this is because uh, on each driver board, there are clock signals for this TV. Uh, for the screen uh, i believe there's eight and eight so there's a total of 16 eight on one side eight on the other side um basically the issue is one of those clock signals was causing the uh tv to basically shut down it was shorted internally on the screen inside the screen it was shorted so that's why this tv was in a constant boot loop and it would never turn on um basically what we did was we isolated the issue to be on the uh on this side of the TV, so the driver strip that goes to about here. The other side was okay, there was no problem. Um, and we were able to basically find the uh, issue by taping over the ribbon cable, all the clock signals, we taped over all the clock signals, and we found that the, uh, I don't remember, I don't know what number, or which clock it is exactly that shorted, but it's basically whatever this line is over here. So this line, these lines, whatever, there's like two of them here. They're very, very small. 
whatever clock is responsible for that line is defective and now it's not being used anymore and the TV is staying on so I would say this is a fix and uh, I'm gonna let the customer know and they should be they're gonna be very happy with the result of the repair but again look I'm gonna power cycle just to show you this is turning it off and again this is the remote so there's my power button there and I'm gonna turn it on actually I'm gonna show you the standby light is on as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and and I'm gonna go ahead and power it on again there we go TV is working so if you guys like this video please leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the section in the comment section below also don't forget to hit the bell if you want to stay up to date with all the videos that I publish expect more videos regarding this uh, problem happening because I have two other TVs at least to fix with the same issue and I'm going to definitely record those and I'm going to show you guys exactly what's going on with those and you're going to see it's pretty much the same thing so again subscribe hit the leave a comment down in the complete loop section the comment section and hit the bell if you haven't already thanks for watching catch you on the next one take care guys Bye bye